Hey, good morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. We're gonna continue our series on improvised field comms and today should be a fun one. We're gonna use the gear that we used in the first three episodes, namely the Cobra head connector. And we're gonna to try to improvise a dipole out in the field. Now the dipole is my go-to antenna of choice, especially on HF, mostly because it's very easy to build. So the X factor today is I wanna be able to establish a 40 meter contact on HF to a windling station about 60 miles from us. So that will actually require that we do regional communication. So we're gonna to try to build the dipole with tools and materials I have in my backyard. So we're going to scavenge. Uh, this is not uh, something I have really looked into until recently, but in terms of improvising some field wire, I know that our previous or the previous homeowner had uh, an electric fence here. And uh, we've got some mounting points here with these plastic insulators. And uh, I found that we have a bunch of this electric fence wire all over the place. So I'm going to try to get a, as much of this as I can. I have never measured this before, so it'll be interesting. So we're going to do some very simple math here. So a traditional dipole is a half wavelength. And I'm going to give you super simple math, uh, not the actual formula where we even have to really do more than very simple multiplication. So 40 meter dipole, half of that is 20 meters. And that'll be the end to end length of our dipole in general. Each leg needs to be half of that, 10 meters per leg, real simple. And then to go from meters to feet, very simple. We just multiply 10 times 3.33 we get 33, 33 feet per leg. So that's what we're gonna to try to do. So I'm gonna rip out some of this, this cable. Actually, let's go ahead and start doing this now. And it looks like it's already caught up in something. I have a suspicion I'm not gonna have enough, but uh, once we figure that out, we'll figure out how to add and find some additional cable. So this is where the electric fence was initially. So I'm gonna to start to cut this stuff down and uh, we'll see. Yeah, all right. We may be a bit short, but should be fun. Anyways, that's the point of this video. All right, folks, I'm over by the electric fence. Uh, as you can see, we've got this stuff wrapped over here. So we're just gonna remove this. I'm filming everything one-handed. And we've got some lug nuts here. We'll remove that. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed. But the point here is I'm really trying to see if I really had to improvise something on the fly, did not have wire in the house, what could we do? So there's one end. It looks like we even have a little bit here for the, the ground. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take this whole ground wire as well. We might need to improvise a pigtail or something. Now I typically always carry a multi-tool mostly to deal with the, uh, the choya. Now the one thing I'll note here is that we don't have a whole lot of wire here, but you never know even an additional meter or a couple feet may help us. All right, folks, yeah, there's just a little bit there, but I think I got an extra, ooh, yeah, about a meter here. So let's pull out what we have and uh, let's see if we can actually do some field measurements. So to make this easy, I think what I'm gonna do is use this point here as a point of uh, reference and attachment. I'm gonna leave probably about, let's do an extra foot. And I'm gonna tie it up around here. And I think now I'm just gonna go ahead and pace out 33 feet. My foot is about one or about 12 inches long, and I'm just gonna do a heel over heel or toe over heel and just work my way out. One, two, three. All right, so we're at uh, 33 feet. Now, I don't think I have enough wire. Uh, at least we have enough for one leg. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this off and then back out to the same distance and see where we land. All right, let's do it. All right, yeah, we're gonna be way short here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that other piece of wire and just attach it to the end. So this is solid wire, uh, electric fence wire. So it should be interesting. I typically work with uh, insulated and copper stranded wire. And even with that little pigtail, we are still very much short. So I'm going to have to go scavenge for some more stuff. You know what, guys? We're not too bad. We're about uh, maybe 8 to 10 feet short. All right, guys. I walked a large portion of the property. Oh, you know what? I forgot about our greenhouse. I'm wondering if we have... Yeah, this is a mess. 
All right, no go. I thought we would have had some wire in here. All right. Well, you know what? Here's some mesh. This could be interesting. That might be... I think I'm going to cut this stuff down. All right, folks, this is not going to be ideal, but we'll see what we can do, especially since the uh, diameter for this guy is going to be a little bit uh, smaller. And I should be wearing gloves and probably some eye pro, but fuck it. Uh, we just got demonetized. Why don't you guys start commenting? Do you think this is actually going to work? I'll be happy if uh, we're able to get on the air. We're going to be able to listen, that's for sure, but transmitting and getting someone to come back to us, especially only on five watts, we'll see how this goes. All right, so we got a section here. Yeah, the only thing that concerns me is the smaller diameter. Uh, I've heard that there actually is no loading when you use um, solid wire, non-insulated wire folded on itself so we'll see if this even matters all right folks so this is what we're looking at here obviously the wire gauge is different so really curious to see how it's going to work out and i'm just going to go ahead and probably put about two inches on each side and just really just bubba, en bubba engineer the hell out of this guy so not going to be perfect not going to be pretty but i really want to understand if this is even technically possible and let's see how close we are to the end now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be short maybe a foot, and if that's the case, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Ah, crap. All right, yeah, I am short a foot. All right, we got ourselves another little jumper section here. So just uh, flatten this out and do my thing to smooth out the edges, and then we'll attach it to the very end. All right, so this is not too bad. Gonna go ahead and just snip off the extra piece here and we're good to go. This is gonna be a very interesting experiment, guys. All right, well, I can tell you one thing that this is by no means field expedient, even though we are using uh, expedient wire from the field and uh, dealing with solid wire sucks. I absolutely appreciate my silicone wire going through this exercise and uh, my hands are all tore up, but you know, I should have wore gloves. So bottom line is we've got our Cobra head. This is the uh, male BNC connector that we've been using on this entire series. And we're gonna go ahead and connect one leg through the little uh, hole in each of the posts. And I'm not even gonna worry about tension relief. All right, so we got this guy through here. And all I'm gonna do is probably put about maybe two inches and really just loop the wire on itself and then ratchet this down as much we, as we can. And that's actually a pretty decent fit. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then I just added really quickly a little bit of cordage with an overhand knot. And we're gonna clip this to a uh, painter's pole I have over here since I don't have a whole lot in the way of trees. I don't think it's gonna invalidate the experiment, but uh, you get the point. We've tried our best to estimate 33 feet, roughly for the 40 meter band using my feet to measure it and scavenging a couple of pieces of wire. And then heck, we even had to improvise and splice a new or a few other pieces. So we're gonna get this up in the air. I'll connect the other side up and we'll take some SWR measurements and see if we land in the 40 meter band. I'm hoping we're closer to 7.1 megahertz, which is the digital portion. All right, folks, we have our painter's pole. We have our Cobra head. I have a little bit of RG316 feed line. And then I have both ends of our improvised wire ready to go. Since I'm gonna be doing an NVIS deployment, I'm not gonna go probably higher than eight to 10 feet. I'll see how long my feed line is and I'll bring it up as high as I can. So I've also got an NFED half wave up about 16 feet. So I'm hoping this doesn't cause issues for us with having a wire overhead. Um, at the end of the day, I really don't care. This experiment is more of curiosity to see if I can even do this. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and walk this out and uh, we'll see how this works out. Well guys, this is about as Bubba engineered as you can get. I'm very curious to see what this is gonna look like. So I've got a little bit of uh, a loop here with some cordage and then we're going out along the, uh, the far side. This is the one that had the full 33 foot uh, length of wire. 
We're up about eight feet, got a little bit of coax going down. And then we've got our other section going out here. Again, this is not a great setup. The soil out here sucks. And then you can actually see here, this is the point at which we are starting to mix a couple of different wires. And then we're just going off and tying it off here. So not the greatest deployment, but uh, like I said, I'm very curious to see what you can do with just that cobra head, a little bit of wire, and our ability just to kind of swag the estimate. All right, moment of truth. Let's fire up our Nano VNA. All right, so our SWR is 3.5 to 1 at 7.3 megahertz. Let me go down in frequency, and I'm going to go down to 7.1 megahertz, which is the digital portion. And guys, this is freaking badass. We are at 1.9 to 1 SWR. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll take it in just a little bit and uh, come back and check it out just in case you guys don't believe me. Where the hell's my camera? All right, this is not gonna come on camera, but uh, we'll try anyhow. So about 1.9 to one, uh, our first shot, just roughly guesstimating the crap out of everything. All right, so I took in about the length of the phone on both sides. Let's see how we actually land here in terms of our, our measurements here. So let me go ahead and recall 7.1 megahertz again. I'm, it looks like I'm still a little bit long. Yeah, but I'm at 1.6 to one. So I probably could tweak it a little bit more, but I'm kind of curious to get on the air and see how this works. So let's see if you can do a little bit of a video on this one. The SWR, uh, it's good. It's at 1.6 to one at about 7.1 megahertz. So this should be interesting. Uh, I could bring it in a bit more, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and get on the air. All right, now I've got my, uh, looks exactly the same, my 818 man pack. All we're going to do is uh, open up the flap, get our feed line, connect her up. I'm going to grab my, my hand mic. We're going to power on the radio. I'm going to try voice real quick. Not terribly optimistic. Good morning, NK5W. Come on, Michael. Thank you, Bruce. Okay, I'm going to uh, shut down and uh, hook it up or blow it up. I'll be back in a minute. 85 I'm going to go to the top of the band and see maybe if we can uh, work some soda or something. Is this frequency in use? Yeah, the SWR is super flat. CQ, 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 this is Kilo Tango 7 Romeo Uniform November. Could use some assistance testing out a uh, barbed wire of sorts antenna here on low power in New River, Arizona, calling CQ, CQ, CQ. All right, guess we're doing digital. All right, guys, I'm not terribly optimistic about this, but we've got Pat Winlink up and running. I'm going to go to Action, Connect, and I haven't checked my email in a while, so we'll see how this goes. We're going to use RDOP as our uh, transport, and we want to show the RMS list for the 40 meter band. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the station that I know is uh, nearby in Wickenburg, and it should be NODAG. And since we're actually still a little bit long, I'm going to go for the uh, 7.01 megahertz one. And it did change frequency. And it looks like someone might be on it. Let's go ahead and go to 7.106 and try connecting. Okay, let's see how this goes. Boom. Badass, guys. You hear that? And if this works, we should see connected here pretty soon in the black little window. Keep your fingers crossed. Come on, baby. I hope my audio levels are correct on my side, but it's hearing us. Okay, something's going on. I'm gonna to try to tweak the, uh, the audio levels real quick here. All right, folks, just later on in the day, let's go ahead and see if we can make this connection. So we've got uh, RDOP. We want to go to that station in Wickenburg. 
All right, it did go ahead and it did change our operating frequency to figures 7.10650. And let's go ahead and connect. And we got in again. Oh, and look at that, we are connected, guys. I figured out what the problem was. I had my almost, or my RF gain uh, pretty high, and I basically dropped it down, and it looks like that's what did the trick. And we should see the Wickenburg banner in a bit here, uh, but I'm still running the same janky-ass configura configuration. I sound like Elmer, Elmer Fudd. Anyways, and we're still going out that way. Yep, and look at that, we are connected to the Wickenburg Gateway. All right guys, this is absolutely a success. Uh, we'll do an after action report, but bottom line is we, ac we took our, man, I'm screwing this up. We took our Cobra head from the last three episodes. We reused it here, literally did not use a measuring tape, came out here, found some wire, spliced a whole bunch together, and on five watts, we're doing it, and we've made it into our established session over here. And again, the station is about 60 miles uh, northwest of my location. Yeah, and we just basically have rocked it. So field expedient comes for the win. I'll try to do an after action report. If not, I'm the tech prepper. Be strong, be safe, be prepared. You can do a whole lot with less, guys. Take it easy.